Hi, everyone. This week is the sixth week in ordinary time. Ordinary time is green because we are growing in our understanding of Jesus and his teachings. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus and his apostles went down from the mountain and came to some flat level ground. Many other disciples were there to meet him. Large crowds of people from all over Judea, Jerusalem, and the coastal cities of Tyre and Sidon were there too. Jesus looked at his disciples and said, God will bless you people who are poor. His kingdom belongs to you. God will bless you hungry people. You will have plenty to eat. God will bless people who are crying. You will laugh. God will bless you when others hate you and won't have anything to do with you. God will bless you when people insult you and say cruel things about you, all because you are a follower of the Son of Man. Long ago, your own people did these same things to the prophets. So when this happens to you, be happy and jump for joy. You will have a great reward in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. This week's Gospel is a very famous teaching from Jesus called the Beatitudes, which means blessings. We are learning who is blessed by God. Jesus told the Beatitudes to a large group of people after coming down from a mountain to pray. He had connected with God and was ready to share what he had learned from God. Jesus said that God will bless people who are poor, people who are hungry, and people who are crying. God will come to them and take care of them, give them plenty to eat, and change their crying into laughter. At that time, people believed that those with good luck were blessed by God, and those with bad luck were being punished by God. Jesus was saying that God will take care of those with bad luck. How does God bless those who are poor, hungry, and crying? He blesses them with his presence, helping them through their difficult time. And in their difficult time, they may be more able to recognize God's presence helping them. Jesus also said God will bless people who others are hating and ignoring, and people who others are insulting and saying mean things to because they follow Jesus. It's a terrible feeling being hated, ignored, and insulted, but God is with those people. He is there with them even in their most difficult, sad, embarrassing times, especially if others are mean to them because they follow Jesus. God is really present to those people. In fact, God compares them to prophets who were God's messengers. Jesus said that people should jump for joy if they are like prophets and they will be rewarded in heaven. Following Jesus may be difficult, but it is worth it to experience God's presence. Are you having a difficult time right now? Jesus tells us God is with you and will take care of you. Do you see others having a difficult time? Do you realize that God is with them? Does that change how you look at them as someone God loves rather than someone just with problems?